Well, it was born out of, I was studying with Dr. Richard Tan, I'm following his courses, and he was one of the people who really brought to the forefront this idea of meridian balancing each other. And he had many systems and he developed, he explained three of the systems using the I Ching Bagua paradigm. And then for the other two of his systems, he used the Chinese um, biorhythm clock. And for me, if they were all going to work together as a system, I needed to find a unifying theory that would bring them all together. So it actually started from there. It started from this not feeling comfortable with having different and uh, disparate um, theories explaining how meridians interacted. Well, unified acupuncture theory and the techniques that we present, um, first of all, it makes a difference because we're not uh, saying you have to change everything you've learned and only use this system. It's a way of understanding the knowledge you already have um, and it's a way of giving you a basic understanding of the meridian system itself so you can continue to grow and bring in new techniques. It actually allows you to see and incorporate Japanese acupuncture, Korean acupuncture, Master Tong acupuncture, and they can all come together into a, a very, you know, you can build your own style out of them instead of somebody saying you always have to do this, this, or this. Well, the majority of the part, almost all of the feedback is really positive. Patient, you know, students come back maybe to do the next level where we do the five, four element, five element four needle technique, or they come back and they do the course again and again because they really get to see that there's a lot of um, clinical use for it. And also they get to get an understanding of what they already know and to put it into context. So the feedback has been, you know, really good. And uh, the other day we got some emails saying that it's actually changed the way that they work and are able to help their patients. Well, it gives them a fluidity in their thought processes when they're dealing with the patient. They're able to um, distill needily, which is always a useful technique, and they have much more confidence and being able to think outside of the box when they come to complex and more difficult cases. Well, my vision um, really is, is just getting acupuncturists to stop um, working on memorization and traditional Zong Fu theory, TCM theory, and incorporate everything they've learned into a much more holistic approach where we're not only looking at patterns and differential diagnosis, but we're also looking at meridian diagnosis, you can be looking at five element diagnosis, and that we become a much more cohesive and uh, integrative uh, medicine and approach. Well, they can go to our website, it's unifiedacupunctureTheory.com or uat.training, and there you're gonna see all of our upcoming uh, courses that we're gonna be giving. Some of them are organized by us and some of them are organized by other schools. Um, also, you'll find some wonderful resources on there, some articles that I've written, some case studies, um, and there's also some live webinars that you can watch. Some of them are for free and some of them you can get CEU credits for. Um, so yeah, probably on the website or you can contact us at contact at unifiedacupunctureTheory.com or contact at uat.training. Uh, so, I'm originally Canadian. I've been living in Switzerland for over the last 16 years now. I opened my clinic in Lausanne in 2006, so over 11 years. Um, I'm an acupuncturist. I am a trainer of other teachers. I have also, well, I also teach for the Academy of the Art Therapeutique in Geneva and for the Chiwe Academy of Asian and Oriental Medicine in Winterthur, where I give CEU courses and also um, main, course, main acupuncture courses. And I'm in private practice where I treat you know, anywhere from 50 to 70 patients a week.